Hey guys, welcome to the Element Pack Pro widget tutorial. In today's video, we are going to explain the features and functions of the floating knowledge base widget. As the name suggests, the floating knowledge base is a knowledge base widget that offers instant customer support by letting them find their desired featured knowledge base by scrolling through the displayed content or searching for it. Dragging and dropping the widget inside the page shows a message and a tiny question mark with a blue background at the bottom right corner. That is the actual widget interface. We are calling the message with a question mark a helper text that you can decide to show or hide by the first switcher inside the controls. The helper text consists of a customizable heading level and a text level. Then comes the support link level field. Clicking on the question mark unfolds a table with a search bar on top and a support link at the bottom. The link level is visible at the bottom part. The options let you type in your support link through the link field. Next is a message field that displays custom text if search results return blank. And lastly, the alignment option for the labels. Then from the style tab, under the trigger button section, you can change the floating knowledge base position from the bottom right corner to the bottom left corner. Then you are given two subsections, normal and active. Under the normal subsection, you can change the background type and color of the widget. For active mode, make sure to use a different shade to tell apart the colors. Back into the normal subsection, customize the border radius value to make the knowledge base button round or square as you please. You can adjust the padding values to increase or decrease the amount of background area around the question mark. After that, we can go into the helper text section to change the text and background color of the labels. Then add a small border radius value to curve the corners a bit. Then you can customize the font styles of the label text through the typography option. The next section lets you customize the item's wrapper, the box that holds all the info displayed by this widget once clicked. From the options, you can customize the border radius and padding values to add more detail to the content. After that, we can go to the search section and customize the text color as well as the placeholder text color there. The default background here is blue, let's change it to a deeper tone. Then add border radius values to round the corners a bit. You can also customize the search icon color and size. The same goes for the search close icon too. Next, the item section lets you customize the knowledge base items. Here, each knowledge base titles inside are the items. Let's switch to the hover subsection instead and change the background color to light blue. Now check how the hover colors react. The title section lets you customize the colors of the item's title on the widget. Also you can configure the typography option to change the font style. Then comes the inner title section, where you can customize the color, margin and typography of the titles. The inner titles are the titles that appear inside the widget window when clicking on the knowledge base item. In the same manner, you can customize the inner text of the floating knowledge base widget. Lastly, the external link is the link text at the bottom of the widget window. The section lets you edit the text color and background color of it. Then you can go for the border radius and padding controls. And customize the font style through typography. And your floating knowledge base is ready to answer your visitors. Make sure to experiment with all these controls to find your own unique designs. So, that's all for today. Hope this video helped. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and get updates on new tutorials.
Stay safe and see you next time.